Hello and welcome to our video about the hidden properties of rare earth elements and how they make modern technology possible. You may have heard of rare earth elements before, but do you know what they are and their role in our everyday lives? Rare earth elements are 17 elements found in the earth's crust. They are called rare, not because they are hard to find but because they are not typically found in high concentrations. However, despite their rarity, these elements are essential for a wide range of technologies and play a critical role in our modern world. In this video, we will explore the unique properties of rare earth elements and how they are used in everything from smartphones and laptops to wind turbines and electric cars. We will also discuss the challenges and concerns surrounding the mining and production of these elements. So please sit back, relax, and join us as we dive into the world of rare earth elements. Part 1. What are rare earth elements, and where are they found? Rare earth elements, also known as RIS, are 17 chemical elements in the earth's crust. These elements are less commonly seen than other elements, such as gold or silver, and are typically found in low concentrations. However, they are crucial for many modern technologies, including smartphones, electric cars, and wind turbines. Some of the most well-known rare earth elements include neodymium, dysprosium, and yttrium. Neodymium is used in the production of high-strength magnets, dysprosium is used in the production of lasers, and yttrium is used in producing LEDs. So, where can these elements be found? Most rare earth elements are located in China, followed by Russia, the United States, and Brazil. However, it's important to note that not all rare earth elements can be found in the exact location. For example, neodymium is primarily found in China, while dysprosium is mainly in Russia. It's also important to note that extracting rare earth elements can be difficult and complex. These elements are typically found in small concentrations and can be challenging to separate from other components. Mining rare earth elements can also have negative environmental impacts, such as deforestation and pollution. Part 2. How rare earth elements are used in technology. Now that we know what rare earth elements are and where they are found let's dive into how they are used in technology. These elements have unique properties that make them essential for various technologies. One of the most common uses of rare earth elements is in producing magnets. These elements, particularly neodymium and dysprosium, make powerful magnets in everything from wind turbines and electric cars to smartphones and laptops. Another important use of rare earth elements is in the production of batteries. These elements, particularly lithium, are used to make batteries in electric cars, smartphones, and other electronic devices. Rare earth elements are also used in producing catalysts used in the oil and gas industry to help refine crude oil. They are also used in the production of ceramics, which are used in the aerospace industry to make engines and other parts. Part 3. Challenges and concerns surrounding rare earth elements. While rare earth elements are essential for many modern technologies, there are also several challenges and concerns surrounding their mining and production. One of the main concerns is the environmental impact of mining rare earth elements. These elements are typically found in remote areas. Drilling them can significantly impact the environment. For example, mining can destroy habitats, release toxic chemicals into the atmosphere, and displace local communities. Another major concern is the lack of facilities to process reefs. While many countries have mines that produce reefs, only some can process them. This means that reefs often have to be shipped overseas for processing, adding to the environmental impact and increasing the final product cost. Another concern is the need for more access to rare earth elements. As mentioned earlier, China is currently the world's largest producer of rare earth elements and has been known to restrict access to them. This can make it difficult for other countries to access these elements, significantly impacting the global economy and technology production. Another challenge is the need for recycling rare earth elements. These elements are not typically recycled, which means that once they are used, they are lost forever. This is a concern because we will eventually run out of these elements and must find new ways to produce technology. Another concern is the potential for reef shortages. As demand for reefs grows, the world's supply is becoming increasingly limited. This could lead to price hikes and supply chain disruptions, making it difficult for manufacturers to produce the products we rely on daily. Finally, there is also a concern about the social impact of mining rare earth elements. Many of the mines where these elements are found are located in developing countries, where workers are often paid low wages and work in dangerous conditions. This can have a significant impact on the local communities and can lead to social and economic inequality. In conclusion, 
Rare earth elements are a group of 17 elements that are essential for a wide range of technologies. They have unique properties that make them necessary for everything from smartphones and laptops to wind turbines and electric cars. However, there are also several challenges and concerns surrounding the mining and production of these elements. These include environmental impact, lack of access, recycling, and social impact. Therefore, we must continue researching and developing new ways to mine and produce these elements sustainably and responsibly. Thank you for watching, and we hope you better understand the hidden properties of rare earth elements and how they make modern technology possible. Remember to like and subscribe.